Now we're going to go through how to set up uh, the Google Assistant app on your iPhone. Um, the reason you might want to do this is say you have some Google Home products like a Nest Mini or a, you know, a Google Home Hub or Nest Home Hub or something like that um, around your house and you're using it as the smart assistant in the home, you can actually download and use the Google Assistant on your iPhone as well. You're also going to want to do this if you have those products in your home because if you tell a Google Home to set a reminder for you, in order for it to pop up with a notification of that reminder on your iPhone, you need to have the Assistant app downloaded and you need to have um, allowed it to push notifications to you. That's how you'll get those reminders on your iPhone. So the first thing you do is go to the App Store and download the Google Assistant app. And then once it's downloaded like I have here, just go ahead and open it up. And then you're going to go ahead and select the Gmail account you want it tied to. If you haven't already signed in um, to a Gmail account on your phone, it will prompt you here to go in and log into that Gmail account and you will need the username and the password for that Gmail account. So I'm already signed in. This is the account I want. So I'm just going to go ahead and click continue. Um, this is just the Google partners and you know kind of some stuff it can do. It talks about security and your privacy. You can go ahead and learn more about all this information if you want to. But for now we're going to click continue. An assistant would like to send you notifications. We are going to allow this because again, if we set up reminders on our Google Homes that we have throughout the house, we want it to be able to send that over to our iPhone and it does that through the assistant app. So we're gonna go ahead and click allow. Hi, Trevor, I'm Once your assistant that, here to help you throughout your go. day. Here are Google some things you can try app, saying can to get see. started. It gives me some tips and stuff that I can do with it. Um, and you can see right now it's asking for access to my microphone. That's so I can actually use the Google Assistant on this phone. So I'm going to go ahead and tap OK. And I get a bunch of options down here at the bottom. Um, I can either pull this up and ask what's the weather going to be like today. Today in Houston, it'll be partly it cloudy with a forecasted high like of 72 that. and a low of 57. Based on your location, it's currently you 64 and mostly Houston. sunny. Um, you can go ahead and tap the keyboard and you can actually type and ask pretty much this anything you want. So what's the weather like? today right so you can go ahead and basically type the same message you'll get the same response so if you're out in public and stuff like that and you don't want to speak to it you can type to it um, if you have any smart home devices and stuff set up through the Google Home app on here um, and through your Google Assistant you can go ahead and you know turn on and off lights by either using your voice or by typing um, and if you go ahead and click the little user icon in the top right, you can also get to all of your assistant settings where you can go set nicknames. Um, you can go and set up uh, voice match and other things like this. You can also do this stuff through the Google Home app if you have that app on your iPhone as well. You can kind of go and change these same settings. Um, and I have a whole playlist about how to do all this stuff on the channel, so make sure you go ahead and check that out. Um, most of it's under the Google um, Home app playlist. So that's how you go and set up the Assistant um, on your iPhone.